Hello friends, welcome back to another video. This is a collab video with Callie from 360 Nails. She does a series on her channel where she will do like minimal or like kind of off subtle colors for the season. So hopefully I'm doing this correctly. She asked if I wanted to do the kind of summer one with her and I thought that, that was a really interesting idea. So hopefully I'm doing it right, but I have six polishes to share with you today. The first polish here is actually a topper. This is Candy Crush. Um, I feel like every time I say this brand, people tell me it's wrong, but it's from Cuticola, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure, but this is a freaking beautiful topper. Let me get it on a swatch wheel. I'm going to be putting all the polishes on a swatch wheel here. These polishes were from a different video, so I will link it down below if it is available and up yet, but I think these are so fun. So here is the first polish. It's a topper of all different color flakies and it is so fun and like interesting I really really enjoy this and I thought that it would be kind of like an interesting one for this challenge just because it can be put over so many different things like it could be over a neon or white or a dark color and make the kind of flaky stand out it just really depends on your mood and I thought that it could be fun to layer over some different summer colors moved you in just a little bit so that you can see what's going on but the next one here is fiddler crab and this does not like usually strike me as a summer color but i really felt like this one would be interesting as like kind of a nude-ish color um instead of all of the brights and all of the crazy neons like this might be a nice um kind of neutral color to possibly wear for summer and it could really stand out depending on your skin tone so I thought this one was hopefully right on track for this um this little challenge Callie has given me there's one coat of fiddler crab I will go ahead and put another coat on there just so that the full color comes through okay going in with that second coat of fiddler crab so there is two coats of fiddler crab hopefully you guys think it's as beautiful as I do. The next one I'm gonna do might be like a traditional summer color, but I feel like this polish specifically, this purple has like this kind of interesting dusty quality to it that's not like such a typical summer in your face color. And with my skin tone, these look really nice when I have a tan. So I feel like this is a good summer polish as well. Again, there is one coat. This is, um, I don't even know that I saw, obviously it's right there on the front, but this is Vegan Gang. There is one coat of it. And honestly, Steph's polishers always have a really nice formula. Both of these could probably be one coaters, but I always do two just because it feels wrong to only do one coat. So I'll be right back with a second coat of Vegan Gang. Seriously though, that is one coat and it's pretty much completely opaque don't even know that this other coat is necessary but i'm just going to kind of lock in this color so there's two coats of a really nice light purple so instantly when i think of summer i think of white nail polish white manicures white pedicures just i just think it's like quintessential summer but i thought since we're doing kind of a little bit off of color selections this is moonshine manny my boyfriend's back um it's a project dupe it polish but it's a very 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 light gray and i thought that this would be a good one for this video because it's not that stark white that some people wear it's really really like muted and just a little bit lighter than those typical in your face whites so i feel like that could be a good polish for this one i feel like i said that so often but i'm like just trying to make sure that i'm doing this challenge correctly i just think this is a really nice polish in general but also a good kind of off summer color I will go ahead and do another coat here in just one second but that's the first coat of my boyfriend's back from moonshine manny 
So there's two coats of my boyfriend's back from Moonshine Manny. The next one, I, I had to throw it in here. I know it's probably like a really traditional summer color, but this is Happy Camper from Orly, and it is like kind of um, my exact favorite color, but I felt like this one would be good because it's not like the regular typical neons that you see. It's kind of a little more muted than those heavy bright neons like what I have on the other side of this swatch wheel. So I just felt like this one could be really good as like a lighter option to neons if you don't love a super bright bright crazy neon like what I have on right now. Okay going in with another coat here. So there's two coats of Happy Camper. Again I just kind of feel like this is a good polish because it's like a good summer bright but it's not like summer crazy neon. So I like this one obviously as well. And my last polish is 90 S'more Hollow. This is like a pinky purple um, holographic polish that's really, really light and kind of subtle. And I feel like a lot of the times for summer, people want like the really bright, like crazy fun holographic polishes. And I kind of felt like usually I put this one in my fall colors just because it's got like that kind of muted dusty pink color to it but also thought it would be really fun for summer because it still has obviously like that holographic aspect to it so when the sun hits it in the summer it'll be really really nice so there's one coat of s'more hollow and i will be right back with another coat so going in with the second coat here of s'more hollow I feel like on the second coat, it really like brings out the purpley over the kind of rose color. But there's two coats. Hopefully you can see that really pretty hollow in there and how I feel like this would be a really nice summer polish. So there we are. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun to kind of think outside the box a little bit on typical um, summery colors. So yeah, thank you Callie so much for asking me to be a part of this collab. I think you're doing a great thing with this series. It's really fun and interesting to kind of just think a little bit differently about my collection. I will have all the polishes named and put links down below and everything, but I hope that you enjoyed. Please go check out Callie's video. I will also have that link down below and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.